Welcome back to baseball. We are going to continue our top 10 worst PR disasters from the Wilpon era. This one is about the way they closed down Shea Stadium and the way that they opened City Field. Yeah, everyone remembers 2008, the last game at Shea. I was there the day before at Johan's complete game shutout. This guy was there for the last game at Shea. And for some reason, the Wilpons think it's a good idea to take a chance and wait for the end of the game to have a celebration. Let me tell you, before the game, it was a raucous crowd. We were into it. We were loving it. And things were looking good. But because we lost, we lost the whole entire season in that one day. So there was no more Shea after that, and it was a terrible way to go out. It felt like a funeral, Ryan. I'll never forget Hojo, who was a coach for the team at the time. He's out there crying his eyes out when he's supposed to be celebrating because he just went through a most devastating loss of his career, and now he's supposed to act like he's all happy and remembering Shea Stadium. It's not going to happen. Listen, they had everything lined up right. They had Seaver. They had Piazza. They had them leaving the stadium. Look, that would have been great, but it was not good when everybody was feeling so sad. Now, as bad as that was, listen, the way they opened up City Field, that was a PR disaster in itself. You have a team that's history is orange and blue. You have a team that loves to celebrate its history. But what do they do? They celebrate the Giants' history. They celebrate the Dodgers' history. Mm -hmm. They celebrate everything but the Mets. Right. More so the Dodgers. I mean, let's face it. It looks like Ebbets Field. It still does. But when you walked in there, you had the Jackie Robinson Rotunda, and that's all well and good, but you had no Mets history going on there. So fans were definitely, obviously, upset, and that was a PR disaster. But look, they finally fixed things in 2012. Not only did they bring back the orange and blue on the walls, but they brought the fences in, too. That's a good thing, because the fans didn't feel at home at first. The players didn't feel home at first. David Wright goes to right center field naturally. You make right center field naturally the deepest part of the ballpark. Good move, guys. Right. But now it feels like home. We finally feel like we can embrace it and City Field embraces us, and this team embraces us. And now that we have Steve Cohen, who's embracing the fans, you know, things are looking up now. Things are going to change, and you can feel it. So we have five more coming to you, five more PR disasters. And again, this is Steve. This is Ryan. Baseballed out. Baseballed out.